Welcome back. If you're looking for some great things to do and see, you might try looking in Ozark. And a great place to start is right on the square, and that's where we find Tom today. Tom, what's going on? Well, okay, I'm at 100 East Elm Street. I mean, it is right across the court. You cannot mix, uh, miss this. It's kind of like a, a draft architecture. You'll recognize the building when you see it. And it is, well, part of what is in this building is the Christian County uh, History Museum. And I have, this is the Vice President of the uh, Christian County Historical Society, Mr. John Nixon. Good to see you, sir. Tom, Thanks for having us by. Sure enough. Okay, if you were just going to give that short little speech of what, what this museum is about, what would that be? Oh, we've got a little bit of everything in here. Most of, most of it related one way or the other to the history of the county. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, exhibited the Chadwick Flyer. Well, right, right behind us, of course, railroads are important to Town springing up, mm -hmm. and as you said, the Chadwick Flyer, that was part of Ozark, and uh, you mm -hmm. can see Chadwick and Sparta, and well, it was kind of called the Flyer as a joke a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> well, they finished the, the spur from uh, Ozark to Chadwick in 1883, uh -huh. and, uh, and it got a lot of business. It, it was actually a pretty casual operation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It uh, wasn't a real flyer. You no, know, yeah, no. Yeah. It, uh, and their main... Uh, Mainly what they hauled was uh, railroad ties. Railroad ties were big business right. down this area. Right. And now, li the railroad ties, livestock, and passengers. Right. That people could catch the now, Chadwick Flyer and go to Springfield and uh, stay okay. over and c come back the next day. And that was, the, that was a big trip for people mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. Now, another thing I know that hauled a lot of stuff, it's right over your shoulder. You don't <laughs> see too many of these. That's a real Springfield wagon. And these things were known all across the mm -hmm. country. Yeah, that was a big part of the business in Springfield, mm -hmm. so building, employing people and building Springfield wagons. Yeah. They were mainly for farm use, but they shipped them all over the country by the thousands. It's a pretty stout wagon, too. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, and it's in, it's in beautiful shape. That's the uh, part of, what, of course, what you get to see. Um, let's, let's take a walk over this way, if, if you don't mind. Kind of get in the middle of things, because as I look around, what I'm seeing are implements that, you know, what I love about a museum, especially this type, is you look at it and you go, who used that? Mm -hmm. What did they use it for? And you have a lot of answers for people if they ask. <laughs> yeah. This is so great. See, okay, a wool baler. Yeah. Now, where, where do you get these pieces? I, I would imagine, you know, people around the area just say, hey, I've got this, whatever it might be, they bring it to you? Well, it's sort of like this Chadwick Flyer exhibit. Yeah. After uh, Emil and his wife died, his daughter wanted better exposure for it, and she didn't know what to do with it, so uh -huh. she loaned it to us. So, and it's uh, it's a big draw, particularly for the kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, do you do you have school kids come here regularly? Is that something second, you know they might want to put on their calendar at school? Well, second graders come through, uh -huh. and have been for years. Yeah. And they. Uh, they get a kick, or, you know, you never know what they're going to focus on. True. <laughs> One other thing that I, I noticed here, you have a jail cell kind of in the corner, and yeah. that is part, again, of the history of Ozark itself. Yeah, when they hung the bald knobbers on the square. Yes. In 1889. Uh, prior to that hanging them, they, they were in this jail cell. Uh-huh. And they had a separate jail on the corner of the inside square. Yes. Anyway, when they tore that down, they uh, they moved the jail fixtures up to the current courthouse. Right. And when they built the new justice center, they uh, they dropped those yeah. <laughs> pieces out S down on the ground and, and we had our hand out for, for Right one. away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you hear the story about the bald knobbers and the Ozark Square and all of it. Well, that's that's the cell door right there. So that's the kind of things that you can can, can see. Is there anything around here, uh, John, that that really stands out for you that you are just so proud of having in this <laughs> oh, building? Oh, not any one item. I, I've accumulated oh, quite a number of items myself, going to auctions and such, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, you just hate, hate to see it. All right, so once again, 100 East Elm, right across from the courthouse. When are you open for people to be able to visit? 
Wednesday through Saturday. Okay. 10, 10 o'clock till 3. All right, and people can find all the information. If you, if you go to Google Christian County uh, Museum, and you'll find out all the information that you need to know and really come and visit here because these are things that you know your ancestors had and touched and used it's it's a fun place to come back to you guys thanks Tom you know I haven't ever been in there but that is so interesting and just like you said I love to think about who used this you know oh yeah yeah, I do too. It, 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 you, you feel the history in, in so many of these pieces. You, you all should come and visit. Maybe we will. Yes, all right. definitely. Well, thanks, Tom. Up next on Ozarks Live, find out why Southwest Baptist University has gained national attention. Ozarks Live will be right back.